Well, David, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Take us through the latest in Hong Kong. Is there an issue right now, given the U.S. political developments over here? Um, I think the more immediate uh, challenges are local rather than from uh, the Congress uh, in the U.S. I don't particularly think it will be seen as helpful. Um, I think support for protests here when the, the peaceful process, protests that so distinguished the, uh, um, uh, the, the protests in the, in the early months of, um, of the summer, um, they've been replaced now by willful violence, which is very hard to justify in any context. And for members of uh, the, the Congress to give support implicitly to that can't really be seen as helpful. Support for the protests in a peaceful form and for de democratic reforms um, are likely to be helpful. But uh, to mix them up when there is so much terrible and unacceptable violence occurring here is, uh, is pretty tough. So, so, David, we're showing viewers right now shots of what's happening around Hong Kong. There are massive, massive bottlenecks happening there because of the crowds, obviously, the people are protesting. We know the transit system is not helping matters, that the subway system is shutting down early, effectively kind of cutting off people from being able to move. And that, all of that is having an economic impact as well. So, so how exactly does this particular path kind of move ahead? Are we going to see a slowdown in Hong Kong because of all of this that's happening? Well, the, the difficult, uh, difficult part of that answer is that the region as a whole is facing difficulties because of the U.S.-China trade war and the global uh, um, slowdown. Um, and so wherever you look, um, data is pretty depressing. Obviously, Hong Kong uh, is, is suffering more keenly than others. The critical questions are really over whether there's likely to be long-term harm arising from what's been going on since February um, or whether it's likely to be short-term. Um, for that, I think we can only go back to the SARS crisis in 2003, uh, where Hong Kong was pretty much shut out from the global economy while the crisis uh, uh, continued. That only lasted for nearly three months. Um, and in the short term did great harm to the economy, exactly those parts that are hurt, hurting now, retail, hotels, uh, restaurants, uh, uh, tourism and so on. Um, the, the problems have now continued for, what, five months? Um, no sign yet of uh, an improvement. Um, uh, if anything, uh, the violence getting more severe and more uh, disruptive. Um, I think there will be people saying, if this continues uh, for too long, a couple, three months more, then there may be some long-term harm uh, being done to Hong Kong's role in the region and as a proxy for China interacting with the global economy. All right, so, so how closely now, we know the protesters, uh, it's having a toll there. You mentioned the U.S.-China trade relations right now. There are indications coming from the administration here in the U.S. that we are taking steps forward in, in those talks with China. Other people are expressing some skepticism over that. If the situation with U.S.-China trade does take a market step forward, does the situation in Hong Kong get better? Um, I think the whole region's economy would improve greatly. In fact, the global economy would improve greatly. There are significant stresses being inflicted by the protraction of, of this dispute. I don't frankly see any early resolution, whatever the words of optimism coming from the most uh, recent discussions. Um, the problems that exist uh, between the US and China, and frankly, between China and many economies internationally in terms of access to their markets, um, those problems are going to take some time to resolve. There's no quick fix for those kinds of things. Arguments about tariffs uh, are emotional uh, and gotcha. um, uh, maybe attract uh, the consumer attention, but, uh, but they're not at the heart of the problems that exist. And in, a, a resolution on tariffs sure. is not going to uh, help the, the bigger systemic problems. Of course. All right, David Dodwell, live in Hong Kong. Thank you very much for those thoughts on the recent protests in Hong Kong. We appreciate it.